Hey, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and this is my updated nail room tour slash storage tour, I guess. So this is what a client would see when they first come into my house. They would see the stairs going down and the welcome sign, and this is what they would see uh, just coming into the studio. Um, I have like some cute decorations and some little nail swatches on the wall. Off to the side is my pedicure pedicure cart pushed to the side. Um, I have a bookcase and then the nail table, the polish wall, the gel polish wall and the stamping polish wall, um, the classes I've taken, certificates, things like that. And then um, of course just an overview of the nail desk and I'll go into depth uh, more later in the video and then turn around on this side and then that just has some uh, certificates of the competitions that I've won and then of course my electrolysis certificate, um, my electrolysis trolley and um, just me and uh, some other stuff I have kind of floating around and then to get in a little bit deeper into um, this bookshelf um, I have some decor on top and um, I have these little nail brushes that I retail to clients and the uh, little glitters and stuff I'm trying to bring them out of the drawers because I find that if I see them I tend to use them more um, I have a bunch of these little 12 pack of glitters um, that I've gotten off AliExpress um, I kind of like them because they're just it's a small amount and you don't always need a whole whack um, of these kind of more special shaped ones and then I have my glitters organized um, like this. I kept all the neons together and then the rest are pretty much in uh, rainbow order. Um, sorry for my camera work here. I was having to hold my camera just in my hand. Normally I have like a tripod or something that kind of helps out with that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I've organized my glitters lately. Um, on that same shelf I do have my um, salt soak for my pedicures and of course I keep my towels, my vents, uh, my sanitizer tissue and this little binder here, I thought I'd give it a quick flip through. That's uh, so where I organize all my foils, um, my angel paper, um, water decals, stickers, um, some really old um, stamping plates from Conad that I never use, but I just can't bear to get rid of. Um, also, I thought I would share, um, I got these newer um, long style um, organizers from Michaels. They're good for the, the longer stickers and stuff. So normally the baseball ones I get from the dollar store for a dollar for eight sheets and then the other ones I get from Michaels. I think they're about 10 bucks and you get like probably 40, 50 sheets. Um, in this uh, basket below I kind of keep all my liquids, fluids, um, cleaners, um, hand sanitizers, and then this one's just kind of a catch-all. I keep my little travel case, um, a lot of manuals and warranty stuff and all my receipts. Um, just beside the bookcase and the hamper I keep um, some scrapbooking paper that I like to use for backgrounds. Um, this wood grain one is the most popular. I do use the glitter sometimes but not very often. Um, and uh, this is just kind of what my desk looks like from behind. So I have the hamper, the covered garbage, um, my little Ikea shelves, and on the side of the bookcase I keep my swatch sticks. Um, there is over 500 colors on there, if you could believe it, they're all kind of rammed on those hooks. And then I keep um, my surface cleaners and a little spray bottle of water. And uh, this is the gel polish wall. So at the top I have Luxio, um, then I have Enel Couture, and then I have OPI, and at the very bottom I just have a couple of random brands that I just have a little bit of. Um, my stamping polish, and I also have like some OPI just for natural nail stuff. Um, sometimes I do pedicures and people just want polish. Um, but yeah, and then I have a little dish where I kind of keep some sample um, things I've played with, little nail tips, and uh, this is where I keep my dirty implements. I have my super shiny and my little bit holder, um, my uh, nail forms, and my bit cleaner, and I, I swatch everything. Um, so it's chromes and micro glitters and stamping polish. Um, 
I just, I'm very visual. I like to see what everything looks like. Um, this is where I've been keeping my pigments. I got this container at uh, HomeSense. So pigments, micro glitters, um, and chromes are up top. Then I kind of still have some glitters in here, but they're kind of like um, different odd shaped ones. And I wasn't sure how to display them. And then down here, I just kind of keep little tips and uh, things to practice and some other odd shaped kind of elements. So then in the top two drawers of both cabinets, I do keep my builder gels. So I have the different brands kind of separated. Um, the one on the right is the one that I mainly use. And then I just have my other ones uh, just because I like to have the different brands to go together with different systems. And uh, yeah, I have just like that drawer that kind of has random brands. This one is all light elegance and um, then these two drawers beside each other are all accents. So the one side is accents options, and then this side is accents uh, gel play. So I do uh, do a lot of stuff with accents, as you can tell. Uh, this drawer is all stamping, so I have um, some rectangular stampings. I have my stamping mat, um, my stampers, my extra stampers, and uh, then I have all my books of stamping plates. Um, it's never enough, I always want more. I think I might be taking these out and putting them on the bookshelf at some point because this is getting pretty crammed. And then on in this drawer, I do have just like a little slide out of acrylic. And then I have my Amore color gels and pixies in there. And then of course I keep my labeler on top. I wasn't sure where to put it, but it fits in there nicely. And this is kind of just like my backups and extras. So I have extra brushes, extra acrylic, um, art brushes, um, my micro swabs that are kind of extra, uh, my main gel, um, just some extra black stamping polish. It's my favorite from the dollar store. Um, cuticle oil, um, and I have Egoista top coat, and just uh, my favorite white um, shimmery one from OPI. It does beautiful um, baby boomers. And then I have these uh, for different art things for the nails. And I just got um, these from AliExpress. They're supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to stick them on the nail and then do a peel off. So I'm hoping to try that just for competition practice stuff and just some empty stuff in the back. And then this drawer, I have uh, my soak off wipes, um, a random speaker, a bunch of Sharpies and some old um, nippers for crimping off clisters crystals and uh, some putty for doing uh, like competition mixed media stuff and uh, I also have my business cards and yeah there's wire in there a lot of the stuff is for competition it's just weird stuff um, I have a bunch of practice tips and then tons of these tags which I use to display my nail tips um, when I do kind of like practice nails and things like that and um, yeah, just to display them on the wall. And then I have some like picture hanging stuff. And then these little gold clips are what I use to attach the tags to my little frame. And you can kind of see in the corner, I have a little dog bed. I wish he would sleep in there and hang out with me, but he never does. But I'm keeping it there just in case one day he feels like it. And of course I have my white sticky tack um, that I just got from Staples to attach um, the tips onto those little practice stands. And of course, just some props. Uh, and then this last drawer, I just have some dishes. In these little bags, I actually have a bunch of tips that I've uh, practiced on, uh, but I don't want to display, but I can't throw them away. I have a travel brush holder, my extra crystal katana, um, just some um, sheets of my chemicals. And then underneath, I just have some cards. Uh, that have nail polish on them that I thought were cute from Michaels. And over here, I just have uh, like acetone, post-service wipe, alcohol, um, art brushes, and I always keep uh, my color and my glitter brush in this one side as well. Then I just have um, two different kinds of bonder uh, for different things, and I also have nail wipes in that section as well. And I'm going to attempt to uh, bring you a little closer so you can see uh, a little bit better. 
And then I also have like scissors for cutting nail forms and decals and things like that, tweezers, um, my clear brush, um, little stirs and like little glitter sprinkler type things. And in this big one, I kind of have an old cuticle pusher that I use to like sprinkle things, my crystal katana, um, some more kind of like mixing things in my pinchers. Um, then I have some more different sprays and uh, my top coat, cuticle oil, my soft dusting brush for like doing chrome stuff, and then just a bunch of random silicone brushes and art brushes, uh, my lotions, and last of all, hand sanitizer. So this is kind of like the little drawer underneath my desk. It's not really a drawer, but I keep some of those like cheap wipes you get from China when I just for practice stuff and a thing of bobby pins in case my hair is crazy, there's usually a hair tie in it, but I think it's actually in my hair right now. Um, then my lint roller for stamping. And then um, I have been keeping like my main crystals in this little wheel, just separated by size. So AB and clear. And then of course, like my bullion beads, uh, my metal things go into that little tiny organizer. And then my bigger kind of odd shaped um, crystals, uh, Swarovski crystals and pearls go there. And then I have uh, these ones organized um, mostly by color and I still have room to grow which I'm really excited about that um, and then yeah I just have a bunch of different colors and uh, I'm actually pretty proud of this collection it's taken a while to build up and uh, I still want more it's an addiction and these this one's just kind of like non Swarovski and uh, just random things and of course my cuticle pushers and uh, my nippers, which are all sealed and dated on the date that they were uh, sanitized. And uh, then on this side of the table, I still have my uh, brush holder, my lamps, and uh, my nail file, my e-file. Uh, my business cards sit over there. I'm looking for a cuter thing to put them in. And then the little umbrellas for rings. Uh, this is the drawer on the side of the desk. Uh, it's pretty much the same as you saw the last time if you've seen my last video. So buffers, files, um, and arbor bands. And uh, I keep this in there. Um, sometimes I get a sore wrist and these uh, Tommy Copper things actually kind of help. I do suffer from tendonitis from uh, when I was working a different job. I have my square reader and then my touch pen and uh, my measuring tape. Um, I have been practicing for competitions trying to do extreme lengths and so it is helpful to measure how long the nails you are actually doing and making sure everything is the right length. Um, this is that tape that sticks to itself. It kind of helps if you uh, need to protect your nails. And then I do keep a bunch of these. It's just the form backing paper. Um, sometimes it's good to have just like mixed colors or do like little art things. And this is my locking drawer underneath. Um, I never lock it because it's in my home, but when I worked in a salon, I did lock it when I had important stuff. Um, I have my money, and then I have some kind of looser files in little organizational systems like that. I got that all at um, Winners. And then just so much stuff. So in this box here, I have all my swatch sticks, um, the clear ones I got from Amazon and the other ones I got from AliExpress. And I also have, you can kind of see I have my dust off, um, extra lotion, extra files. Um, I have a charging cord for my e-file. I have the little rings that go onto my swatches, um, the bags that I put my sanitized implements in, my red iguana hands, the filters for my Valentino. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what's all in there. And oh yeah, that little stand is what I use to hold my red iguana hand. So this is uh, what I see when I'm doing nails. So this is my electrolysis cart. I have my sharps container on there, my cotton, my cleanser, uh, the paraffin warmer on the other side for pedicures, my uh, paraffin bags and hand warmers, my masks, gloves, um, my tweezers or forceps as you're supposed to call them um, and the little ends all in little bags and of course my diploma and all of that so I thought I would um, try and give you a better overall view. I, I hope you like this video. Thanks so so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you all later.